Life is a journey and every journey is going to have ups and downs. The downs are meant to teach really valuable lessons. Those lessons are your expensive education to creating an amazing life of your dreams if you choose to learn from them. This is Tasha Blasi, integrative fertility coach, patient advocate, and mom to two very expensive children. I went through 10 rounds of IVF, so you will never have to. On this podcast, I will give you the answers to what is keeping you from getting or staying pregnant. This is the FU Project. Fertilitites unite. Have you ever felt really jealous of your friend's fertility journey? They get to bang it out for about a minute, 30 seconds, and then two weeks later, find out that they're pregnant, missing dozens of the appointments where you get shot up with lube right before work, missing the dozens of shots where you wonder if you're going to grow facial hair or go crazy and rip your partner's face off, missing the payments that could buy you a really nice car, a vacation to Spain and Italy, or a perfect set of boobs from a Park Avenue doctor. A common conversation that I have with clients is about OPBs, other people's babies, specifically their friends. The most recent one I had was talking about how her friend was pregnant and acting like she was giving birth to the second coming of Jesus. Everything was super dramatic, over-the-top announcement, conversations about her difficult pregnancy where she has a sore lower back maybe once in a while. Her switch from being your friend that used to grind with random guys at the bar to basically the Virgin Mary and her seemingly immaculate conception. I know there was a lot of Jesus references in there, and I I don't know where those are coming from, but let's continue on. Anyway, it was all just way too much for my client. So first, I told her that her friend sounds like a douche. Second, I explained that life is really long, like 100 years long. And she, at 35, is so young that she might as well still have placenta on her. And life is a journey. And every journey is going to have ups and downs. The downs are meant to teach really valuable lessons. Those lessons are your expensive education to creating an amazing life of your dreams if you choose to learn from them. Those that have big wins in life tend to have a much harder time with those struggles that come later on. And they always come later on. I saw it all through my 20s and 30s. Anyone I knew who made a lot of money early or got married really early or had quick success at work or or easy pregnancies as often as they wanted had a lot of big struggles in their late 30s and 40s. And they had a much harder time overcoming them. The key is to remember that if you grab life aggressively, have goals for growth and creation, and expect a hard journey, but still hold on tight, and get thrown off and beat up and still hold on tight with your goals in mind, you will learn the secret to a happy, fulfilled life. I promise you, you don't want anyone else's fertility journey. And how I know is because you can't just get and take. You have to give and give up too. You know the saying, if everyone puts all their problems in a pile, you would choose to take yours back, right? So let's think of it a different way. What if everybody put their gifts in a pile? I promise you, you would want to take yours back. When I was going through my 10 rounds of IVF, I never wanted to be anyone else other than wishing I could experience the, I feel sick, I must have a stomach bug. Oh my gosh, no, I'm actually pregnant. I was never jealous of anyone else's fertility journey for three main reasons. One, that was their gift and I was not willing to trade in any of my gifts for that gift. Two, I knew that my kids were gonna be so much cuter than their kids. Three, if I took their fertility journey, it also meant that I had to take their partner. Um, Have you seen my husband? He is a hot piece of ass. There is no way I am switching to her husband for a baby. Gross, ew, gross, no thank you. 
Unfortunately, some people cannot think clearly with all of the clutter that has built up from their past and current fertility journey to see all the beautiful gifts that they have right in front of them. And to know that even with all the gifts they already have, they are also going to get the gift of a perfect child coming into their lives at the perfect time. Then if this sounds like you, unable to think clearly with all the clutter, look at that as a sign that you need to create more space in your mind and body, especially if you want another human to be able to grow in your mind and body. Here is a great exercise that will put your current journey into some perspective. I call it, who am I? All you have to do is write down 50 of your gifts, things about yourself that you're proud of, achievements and service, meaning things that others have accomplished or ways that others have grown or succeeded or created because of your help. It has to be 50. Okay, around 20, you're going to go a bit blank. You have to write 50. You have to keep going. Soon, your mind will kind of open up and start tapping into like the bigger picture. And that is what I call, oh my gosh, I am really awesome. Who knew this? Oh, I did. I knew that about you. The next step, don't show anyone this list, okay? But you have a second thing to do. You have to ask somebody very close to you to make that same list for you. Again, they can't see your list first. Have a person, ideally two or three, write down 50 things that make them proud of you, that they see as your gifts, that they have possibly accomplished or learned or grown or created because of you. At night, Look at this list before bed. It will raise your vibration and make you smile and put your subconscious to work on the experience of you being fucking awesome. And end with sending thanks in love to your source, your God, angels, universe. I'll put Jesus back in there again. (laughs) Guides, energy, whatever your source is, send Thanks and love after you read that list for always guiding you to your best self and your best life, even when you stubbornly pushed to go in a different direction. And that was my baby making lesson of the day. For more of my fertility advice and adventures, please visit TashaBlasi.com. Sending you thanks and love always. Always.